Hi, everybody. It's Linda G. And I've gotten some hits. And so I thought I'd do a quick little video to let you guys know what I'm getting. Um, and I looked at some of your questions. You were asking Andre, Andre at Astrology Alert and myself, by the way, him and I will be on later, but not live. Um, today is April 5th, 2023. Um, for some reason, I was thinking it was the 6th. I want you to know my guides were like kind of firm with me today. And they were telling me that it, it was weird. It's, it, you know, they don't really tell, tell you off, but they can be firm at times. And they were like, you know what? Quit being afraid. Stop being in a panic. You interrupt the well-being with the constant questioning of what is going on. We are answering your prayers. Most human beings want nothing but well-being. They just want to have a home, a roof over their heads, and to raise their families decent, decently. But somebody like Trump, who is such a negative energy and puts out such hateful rhetoric, um, know that he is being dealt with, okay? They just really want to emphasize that's my purpose for being here since the beginning. I didn't want to do YouTube. I had no idea how to do YouTube. And they said, Linda, you'll help calm people down. Well, the only way I can help calm people down is by the information they give me. So they want you to know not to be afraid. And universally, things are vibrationally changing. Actually, a lot of us in this realm and in this human experience because of our higher love and values are creating more well-being for this earth. So we're not being punished. It's not even being tested. It's th to know that all, all of us, all of our love and wonderfulness to our fellow mankind is acknowledged, okay? And that vibration is what creates more of the same. So when Trump is going on about, uh, you know, New York and and they're talking the talk, don't even listen. And I've told you before that the New York is kind of the last on the list. I know they were the first to, I guess what happened was we needed to have some sort of indictment so we would feel better. Please, dear God, win. So we got one, but it's like, it's not the huge one. It's not the one that's coming up. I don't know if you've heard, but Pence has decided he's not going to fight and he's going to testify. This is huge. This is huge. So know that there is so much coming in. It was almost like I saw a tidal wave coming in and all those people screaming for Trump in the middle of that wave. And it was so weird. Because I asked my guys, I said, why did he even turn around and talk trash about the judge and everything. And uh, they showed me with his foot drawing a line. And let, let me see if I can step over this line. So he's testing. He wants to look like a big shot. He's trying to take control back. So guess what? They told me I can't do this and I didn't pay any attention. Whatever. Like he used to say, I can shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue, but he is not indispensable. Mark my words that soon, even maybe even by May, but time frames aren't my forte. He's got some huge hits coming, huge. And what I saw was really weird because my guys are trying to tell me, you guys got to stop being so frightened. Because, you know, I even listened to a little bit. I didn't listen to a speech of Mar-a-Lago, but yes, you know, that's how they make their money. The news media is bringing them up and causing us to be in fear. But I kind of went there for a second. Is it really just a nothing burger what they presented? My guide said, knock it off. <laughs> knock it off. The power of Christ will compel you. I thought lightning would come through the ceiling. Tell everybody to not be afraid and this too shall pass. And he's not here for much longer. So he's a big lesson to be learned. 
not necessarily well yeah for us because we're going to find out standing in justice is what made things happen the way it should happen but those other people that are drunk with him drunk with that energy like he's a, a rock and roll star you must not idolize you know they they all they've always said that you know people that idolize other people you can't do that you know so he's being idolized so he thinks he's all that in a cup of tea but he's about ready to go down i can guarantee it and this mike pence going in to testify he's not going to fight it he's just going to go in <laughs> and the other big thing coming up is dominion that's huge so let's just do a quick throw okay Let's just do a quick throw. I want to do on Trump's current status quo. And I want to do on Dominion. Dominion, I tell you, this is going to end Fox News. I love Dominion. They stood by. They said, no, no, no. They want all of this publicized. And they're going to demand some sort of apology. Okay, first we're going to talk about Trump. You know, he really looked bad in New York. Did you see that look on his face? He actually looked afraid. Somebody said he looked kind of evil, which he always does. But then he went and he talked about all those people. See, all those people made him feel good. He needs that energy to think I'm a big shot because he didn't get that many Trumpsters out there in New York. You know, he would have loved it if 100,000 people showed up marching, tearing things up. He would have loved it. But what was it like, 200, 200 people? And Lawrence O'Donnell was down there. He doesn't live far away from there. And he said he went into the, uh, the Trump crowd, kind of asked questions. Most people didn't know who he was. He said they couldn't have been nicer. They were very nice people, but there was one guy that recognized him that started calling him something from female anatomy. And, uh, you know, he kind of got away, but none of them rallied behind this guy. They just ignored him. And then he was he was typing in his thing, asking for money. And you got Lindsey Graham crying, oh, please. And I'm like, this is the man who stood up there and told us he's the richest man ever. He doesn't need our money. Remember that? And then that Michael, uh, I can't remember his name, but he's kind of got a gross mouth, but he, he is funny. But they were showing her being escorted out, MTG. He said, get the space lasers on her. <laughs> I thought that was hysterical. And you know, Trump is just the same as, um, Jesus Christ, he was jailed. It's a sick name, huh? It, it's so blind. It's like the blind leading the blind. Tell me about Trump. Give me something to give to everybody, my beautiful guys. Who just tell me, you need to listen. You need to listen. When you guys start getting panicked, just breathe. And be quiet and wait for it because you'll hear kind of that comforting energy saying, you know, it's like with um, uh, what happened with Ukraine. Remember when I got the hit, I went over, oh, oh, was so upset. And they said, Linda, this is the beginning of the end of Putin. Well, still hasn't happened, but I believe them because Putin is going down. Okay, so here we go. He's trying to contact people left and right. He's definitely looking for money to pay for his expenses because he's got two more huge, actually four more. He's got the um, the assault case at the end of this month. He's got Fanny's coming probably in May, first week of May, maybe even the last week of April. And then Jack Smith, I feel Jack Smith's not messing around. He wants to get in there and get this thing they're still going to accuse him of interfering with. Uh... That's why he announced he was running for president so early, because he knew this was coming. And he also wanted uh, money from people. 
Oh, Trump is not good. I'm going to ask something after this specifically, but Trump is not good. Two more huge cases coming up immediately, and he's not going to feel well. He might even take an excuse about going in the hospital. And his money is exiting stage left. He is getting some sort of justice from the past. You can't be that ugly and get away with it. You know, look at uh, Hitler. There was a few years of glory, but mostly he went down in shame. And Trump will go down in shame. McCarthy, too. You know, McCarthy went down in shame. He would never win again. Maybe they want him. Maybe the guides are, are allowing him to run again because they want us to see how badly he loses. And that's a slap in the face. And then what, what is it? Once again, it's a rigged election. <laughs> okay. I wanted to ask, is him saying things about the judge and his his daughter and um, Bragg and his family, will this judge come back and say, okay, no, mm -mm, okay, we're, we're putting a sanction on you or whatever. Keep your mouth shut. Let's see if the judge will actually speak up. Because I know Bragg is presenting this to the judge as we speak. Your Honor, look at this. Look at this. It's interesting. This guy tries to, this this judge, he tries to look like he's, you know, kind of on both sides. He's fair, but he needs to nip this guy in the butt. You got to tell him who's boss. You can't be nice to him. He'll eat you up alive. Okay, let me look. So the judge is reviewing it now. And so he'll decide to do something. He'll decide to do something. Nine days, nine weeks. He's going to threaten him with jail. That would scare Trump. Well, yes, he's going to do something. I can't believe it. Here's another nine. 29th, the 19th, nine days from now. What is this? The fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14th. I see him getting some paperwork, but they aren't making it public. I don't know what this is. Is this a subpoena? Yeah, because the paperwork feels like he has to go back to New York and face this judge who tells him to shut the, you know what? Shut it up. And all those faces, did you see all those those faces with their eyes all black? All the crowd that was up mar lago it, it, It's just that little group. It's not, believe it or believe me when I tell you, it's not the big enchilada. You know, the people standing on the side of mar lago aren't hundreds of thousands. The people in New York was a couple of hundred. The people at mar lago are the ones that always come to mar lago and they were donors. So that's why he had them there. But it's not, you know, the base loves him and they'll hold on to him until he's sets himself on fire. So there's some stuff coming up with Trump that's pretty ugly. But um, I want to look at MTP. See, you give that woman a little power. She's just like Trump. Trump was already kind of a pain. You know what I'm saying? But when he got power, it's like, you know, I can do anything. Remember, he kept saying that to us. You know, I'm president. Apparently, I can do anything. Like, not that I would, wink, wink, what she did. But, you know, as president, apparently, I can do anything. Can you touch your toes? <laughs> and so then he's telling um, Sean Hannity, oh, I can, just the fact that I took those records, they're mine. You know, he's delusional. He's so he's kept, he's going down for that espionage, but it's not just taking the records, it's selling them. It's giving them, Putin had all of them. He told us already, oh yeah, I've got the, I've seen him twice, you know. He was giving away 
secrets left and right. He was causing the death of intel out on the field. And that's kind of how this started, because they were saying, we've got a mole, because even while he was president, he was doing that. Ooh, well, I didn't ask for this question, but the guys just told me to tell you guys. They, now, we can't be gleeful about this. J Jared is really going down. Jared is really going down. Um, pray for their souls. Okay, so MTG. So she was walking down that walkway. Now, you know he doesn't want her as VP because of her look, but here's the deal. I had a flash today when I looked at her. She um, She's the highest fundraiser for the Republicans. So in a way, he kind of needs her, so he'll schmooze her with whatever he has to say. Um, she showed up. Carrie Lake didn't. I think Carrie Lake kind of knows. See, Carrie Lake's a loser. You know, she's a loser. She keeps losing everything. Whereas MTG, according to Trump, is a winner. So he might be looking at her for VP. But let me look. Yeah, she's kind of a high on her horse. Today, when I talk to Andre, I'll ask about her sign and... Is she, but he saw her going down, her and um, uh, Butthead from Beavis and Butthead, Matt Gates. I saw MTG getting handcuffed, so I don't know if our guy Jack Smith puts through some something that maybe she refused. It's almost like she's trying to defile something, and he's like, Nope, you're coming with us. Justice will will be there for her. By October, it's not very good for her, okay? Her star is reversing. So right now, she's on a high, okay? She thinks she's all that in a cup of tea. Trump will not win. I can guarantee it. He does not have the ability to go in and change the votes at all. Russia can't help him anymore. Trump will not win. And he's thinking he will because he's so delusional. Like he said, I can take these records and they're mine. He's even thinking like, I'm going to get rid of these people. I'm going to cut this and cut that. And those guys, that Congress that fights us every tooth and nail, they'll be like, yes, sir. Yes, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. But they'll be out of the picture because come the new 2024, there's things changing. And may I say, take a look at who won. Who did I tell you would win? Janet did. Judge Janet. I can't pronounce her last name, but I'm so happy. And I just took what the guy said. I said, is she going to win? They said, yes. And that other guy was such a, such a poor loser. Oh my God. I'd like to congratulate the other side, but this is just the most vile, blah, 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 whatever. Whatever. Your bus is here, sucker. So um, this is wonderful news for Wisconsin. And you know who came out? The young people. These are the ones who are going to save our world, you guys. These beautiful energy forms. They're going to come out. They're got Gun control and abortion is a huge subject. They're going to come out and vote by the thousands vote. And they'll change those. those uh, why do the Republicans always have to cheat? But anyway, they're cheating ways. That's all going to be done. We're going to come into a blue Wisconsin. Okay. Places I see that still have trouble will be places like Arkansas and Alabama. Wisconsin has a, a Democratic uh, governor too. It's just that it's very hard to stand with the side of the Republicans when they're being so ugly and they're putting, they're acting like you can't tell us what to do. And then doing these things like you can't say this, you can't act like this, you can't read this book, but you can't tell us what to do. And all the Satan with the, you know, with the uh, carry, nobody's going to Florida. The students are coming out there left and right to go to a different course. Anybody can carry a gun. Why don't we all live like the old West? Why don't we live? Well, they'll see. Pretty soon there's there's they got some stuff to come up.
And then did you hear he's trying to change the law that if a governor runs for president, doesn't mean they can't still be governor? <laughs> Whatever. He ain't going to win nothing. Okay. MTG, the swords. She comes in like a little warrior. She thinks she's somebody who can go in and really change things. No. And you know what else is? She tells everybody, you know, I'm a congressperson and I'm on the committee. <laughs> I couldn't be on the committee when I was under Nancy Pelosi. You know, I had a flash too. You know how they said, okay, people can bring their guns in. So apparently they're packing in Congress. The Democrats are packing too, because they don't trust them. So it's not just them that have guns, okay? So not that I don't see anything happening like that, but I just feel like you're just overboard. And these young kids are going to come out a thousandfold. All kids who turn 18 that can vote, they're coming out. I love it. Okay, so I wanted to look, hold on. So yeah, Mur Rupert Murdoch and other Fox Corp executives can be forced to testify. Love it, love it, love it. Let's look at those uh, Tennessee who's going to kick out those Democrats who who um, were for those kids that came out and marched. Oh, I just heard something. So it, it, I heard somebody say, well, th they'll probably kick them out. I heard that. Okay. But the mass amount of people coming to vote because they're angry about this, it's going to be huge. So I don't know who's up in 2024, but it's going to be huge. Things will be changing. The makeup of Congress and the Senate will be Democratic. I see Lauren Bulbart going. I don't know about Marjorie Taylor. I'm, I don't know what's going on with her. I can't tell if she wins or loses, but her voice is gone. That's probably more important. Okay, so um, let's see what, what yeah, frumpy, grumpy. She was writing to me and Andrew. Andrew. She said it, we have the Lori and Chad Daybell case going on, but we already know how it will go. The lawmakers have passed some pretty reprehensible laws lately. I would like to know if and when these laws are reversed. And was the LDS church part of the influencer in making these laws? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, yes. Idaho's pretty bad. I know people are leaving Iowa and Idaho because uh, because of their their hard stance on you know abortion. So practitioners don't want to work there. Okay. Um, Heather, will there ever be relief on student loans? Some people are hearing even though there hasn't been the big vote, but some people are hearing about this already. I feel it got really put on hold. I might have to wait till 24. Sorry about that. They're trying to hold it up. I just saw that guy, what's his name? That uh, Kevin McCarthy in Taiwan. He went there because they're, they're offering some gifts to him. I don't know what this is. Some sort of money, monetary thing. I just saw that. It's not really underhanded. It's more like he's coming because he wants some, some extra monies. Okay, so let's look at loan debt. Loan debt. Yeah, see, it's being put on hold. Magic will come, and here's the payoff, okay? 
So fortune's fate. It's going to pass, you guys. It's going to be okay. Look at this. Might even be by August of this year. So it's going to pass. I don't want you guys to worry. Okay, let's see what else. I just want you to know, even though it's so crazy, we got to be careful listening to the news media because it makes us really look fearfully. We stay out of the fear. Know that our positive, we breathe sometimes. I don't know if watching me, you learn some of the breath techniques, the three breaths per day. And just hand it over. Be quiet. Just listen. If you start feeling nervous, that's not of spirit. Relax. Ask that they, the higher realm takes this away from you. You know, worry and all that is a double-edged sword. It'll, it'll cut you as well as whatever it is you're worried about. Honor. They always say honor. Be honorable. And as much as we'd like to say that SOB needs to burn in hell, don't say it. Don't say it. Know that this too shall pass and they've already got everything under control. They've already know. I already know that this resistance we came in, this is what I heard as clear as day. We passed the test. So I don't know what kind of test it was, but it's like there's more positive energy in coming from all of us than there is a negative coming from them. There's more of us than there are of them. And we pass the test. Let's look at what's going to happen with Lindsay. I just saw his face. You know, Trump doesn't like crybabies either. So he might be turned off about. Oh, so Lindsay's worried about himself too. Interesting. It's just so interesting. The man who had more money than God that was bragging and telling everybody, I don't really need your money. I'm rich, okay? That's all there is to it. I'm rich. Is begging people for money. And so he got, what, 7,000, 7 million? 7 million since then. It might be a little more. Still not what he used to get. That's a, that's a drop in the bucket. What's going on with you, Lindsey Graham? I'll ask Andre today, too, about Lindsey. He loves Trump. Trump shows some attention. He's like, it's like he drank the Kool-Aid, too. He's like in awe, in awe of him. Trump deliberately it's like trump is a demon oh my god because he deliberately dragged him into his den because you remember at first trump was saying, i mean lindsey graham was saying if we if we vote if we if he becomes our president we deserve what's coming and he was so anti-trump and then trump he has to sing with his tongue like he speaks in this uh, way and the way he made he took him golfing and the way he made him feel, he made him feel special. Some people, I guess, are just hungry for some attention. So he um, he has a great affection, Trump does, for Lindsey Graham. But, you know, even when Lindsey does something stupid and goes against what the master says should be done, he forgives him. He forgives him. So the outcome for Lindsey Graham is begging for mercy. The judgment is coming up against him. His might not be till next year. Um, things are not going to work out the way he had hoped. Um, they're going to push so hard to try to get Trump up on the thing. And then these subpoenas are going to happen. And it just keeps falling and falling. I just kept seeing Trump's foot draw this line in the sand and then stepping over it. So he's going to do things that he shouldn't be doing. 
And then boom, he's just taken out. He's just not able to function anymore. I don't know if it's mental illness or he's sick or what. Yeah, so listen, this pants with Jack Smith is fantastic. It's fantastic. Somebody just said, I need to watch Susan Lynn's video on Republican dog. I'll have to watch it. Yeah, this wonderful Judge Janet, this is just wonderful. This is, Wisconsin's on the way out. So we've got a, a, a state. I'm sorry, Florida's got a ways. I see a lot of people exiting out of that state. I see, but I do see a lot of hurricane stuff coming up too. So, and the Dominion lawsuit's going to be huge. I love it. It's going to really take some things down. And it's going to be an embarrassment to Trump because it's going to be wide open what they think of him. Right now, he will let that go in order to pursue Fox to help him get his presidency. He desperately needs that presidency back. So he's not going to try to make a big deal out of it. If he needs you, that's what I was saying about MTG. He's not really, he thinks she's kind of, you know, trashy. But he'll use her because she's a go-getter and she's on his side. Even though the other one, um, um, Carrie Lake, um, you know, she's a go-getter too, but she's a loser. And he doesn't like that. doesn't matter if it's not her fault, she's a loser. Whereas MTG is the winner, but she's going down. I love it. I love it. I love it. Such good news, you guys. Okay. Um, yeah, he does have a child by somebody else, too. Someone just said, I heard he sent this maid to uh, Mexico. They, he's paying her. He's paying her. Okay. All right. So I'll, we'll talk to our guy about the Libra full moon and the moon was so pretty last night. And the, sh the earth shift is, is on, but it's going to be okay, you guys. But this Armageddon weather, God bless the people who were killed, five people killed in another tornado. Was it Arkansas? Anyway, it, it, it's it's bad. I told you there's going to be more outbreaks. Okay. Somebody, Mo, just said, hey, I, when I watch documentaries on Henry VIII, I see a lot of similarities between him and Diaper Don. An egregious ego, bloodthirsty for power, vicious retribution, sex starved, and small hands. <laughs> I don't know. If they, the, I thought he was more based with Caligula, but I don't know. I think I try to pick up on him. I'm not very good with past lives, but doesn't that? Yeah. And the other thing, Hitler was very consumed with. I don't think he was much involved with sex, although I think he had issues with that. I have a friend that went up to Austria to visit where he where he was. You know, there's they've got some sort of museum. And I didn't know this, but apparently he only had uh, one testicle. I don't know if you guys know that, but. Um, and apparently he had Jewish blood, but he got genealogists to change all that. So you wouldn't know. Um, but Henry VIII, that would, that, that would stand for something. But Hitler also loved reading any news reports on him. And listen, the United States, after I saw that thing on, on, on what happened with the with the Jewish uh, faith in Germany begging to come to the United States. We had a lot of white supremacists. That's what uh, FDR was dealing with in within the government of the United States. It was like, no, we don't want any Jews here. So Hitler made fun of the Jews saying, not even the United States wants you. So it was it was bad. It was very hard to watch that our United States, as good as we do good, sometimes we do bad. And also, you know, tribally, they wiped out my tribes and they didn't even the thing is, they wouldn't even come to an agreement 
They wouldn't even say, here, we're going to sign this peace treaty with you and blah, blah, blah. Because the minute they found out there was something on our land that was worth something to them, they wiped us out. So there's a lot of Don, Donald Trumps out there. Okay, you guys. So I'll be back with my um, Andre. And love you all. Jack and Lulu are doing good. And I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.